organizer and invite for, uh, for having the opportunity to give a talk uh, in this very nice conference. Uh, also, my my talk is uh, uh, let's begin without uh, any fancy communication and uh, and video, but anyway, let's say. Okay, I would like to uh, talk about uh, uh, a result which uh, uh, joint work with Medina and Susanna Terrazin from from Turin and uh, Xi Junfu from Shandong University um, and uh, is about the, uh, the index theory for a special class of, uh, of motion in the gravitational, uh, in the gravitational body problem. Actually, uh, all the results uh, uh, also for uh, uh, minus alpha homogeneous uh, potential where alpha is between zero and two. So uh, for any weak, uh, let's say weak, uh, weak uh, uh, potential, and uh, uh, not only for uh, co collision solutions, for total collision solutions, but uh, also for completely parabolic solutions. But uh, in this talk, I will concentrate on uh, only on uh, collision solutions. So, first of all, what is an index theory? Uh, index theory is a, a, a quite uh, vague term for uh, many things. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, what uh, we have in mind here, what uh, we are uh, referring to is uh, uh, let's say the, the, the basic example is uh, the classical motion index theory uh, from the Riemannian geometry. Let's say if we have uh, on the Riemannian manifold the geodesic uh, uh, seen as a critical point of uh, the energy action functional, uh, the classical motion index theorem states that uh, uh, the Morse index uh, of, uh, of the geodesic is critical point on. Uh, for instance, on the loop space, on the path space of uh, the manifold is equal to the total number of uh, conjugate points along with the basics uh, counted with the multiplicity. So uh, this is uh, somehow the archetypical uh, example of uh, index theorem. And uh, this result was, uh, uh, was generalized by Morse uh, uh, the beginning of, uh, let's say, the 30s. And uh, later was uh, uh, essentially there was uh, uh, a, a lot of uh, interesting uh, generalization that can be traced back to ma many many interesting guys, uh, uh, especially to Arnold, uh, in which actually he was able to somehow to generalize to higher dimensional space the concept of winning number. Uh, by, uh, let's say, defining what is called, now is called mass of index, call it sender index, uh, whatever, uh, or Hormand index, Kashivar index, and uh, as an intersection index in the lagrangian grassmann contest. So, uh, let's say, in the, from a very general point of view, uh, an index theorem is just a formula, is an equality between, uh, on the left-hand side, we have the Morse index, uh, of a critical point of uh, a, 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 an action functional, uh, which is an object uh, living in, uh, let's say, in uh, infinite dimensional Hilbert space. And on the right hand side, we have the Maslow index, whatever it is, it's just, uh, but it, it involves uh, the fundamental solution of a Hamiltonian system. So uh, it's uh, very hard to compute, uh, but uh, uh, nevertheless, works. Uh, in a, I would say, uh, in a finite dimensional, in a finite dimensional uh, synthetic space. So uh, these uh, essentially, the right sense inside is a linear algebra, and here we have a factor analysis. So, um, okay, uh, why we are considering uh, the index theory? Uh, this kind of, uh, why we are interested in this? Uh, uh, Morse, uh, Morse index. Uh, Morse index is uh, the first step in order to try to. Um, there are actually there are several uh, several reasons. Uh, for instance, uh, it's uh, very interesting to understand uh, to attach this number, this integer, um, in order uh, because it plays a role uh, in uh, by using uh, critical point theory, mountain pass, or Morse theory, or flare homology, or Many other uh, topological and variational stuff, and uh, um, and somehow the um, 
if we have uh, more complex uh, objects like heteroclinics or connecting orbits between periodic solutions like, uh, for instance, the Hamiltonian systems, which is much more uh, general than this Lagrangian system. Let's say in, the, in general Hamiltonian system, the most index is infinite, but there is a, a kind of uh, relative most index. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, let's say uh, the connecting orbits uh, uh, in uh, some good uh, genetic situation uh, produce a kind of finite dimensional manifolds, uh, and the dimension is just the difference of uh, the, uh, the Morse indices uh, of the periodic solution at minus infinity and plus infinity of these, uh, let's say, the boundary of these tubes. So somehow uh, we are interesting to, uh, let's say, to understand uh, how uh, and to, uh, to try to um, give some classification or uh, uh, by using uh, this, uh, uh, this kind of uh, linear uh, topological invariant. And uh, uh, for this kind of, um, but there is a deep reason uh, because uh, in this kind of uh, weak force potential, unfortunately, the action functional uh, can be finite even on uh, colliding trajectories. So uh, the main problem is, is uh, to rule out, uh, um, let's say, collisions uh, or colliding trajectories uh, and uh, and to be sure that by using uh, any kind of uh, critical point theorem, to be sure that uh, actually we are find some some solution up to bootstrap some elliptic regularity, which is uh, uh, to a solution, a genuine solution in Newton equation. So, Rivina uh, uh, or Giovanni worked, uh, uh, produced a lot of interesting results, uh, mainly by imposing an extra uh, extra symmetry uh, for producing these critical points, somehow uh, characterizing a priori a, a group action and to, uh, let's say, in order to uh, rule out a priori collisions. But if uh, we are in, uh, let's say, in many situations, for instance, not for, uh, for a fixed time, for instance, for its energy um, problem or uh, or if uh, uh, we would like to rule out the collision without imposing any extra symmetry, uh, the way of uh, uh, computing, characterizing critical points, uh, uh, attaching this kind of uh, uh, integer could be a way to try to a priori ruling out. For instance, if we know uh, for a colliding trajectory that the Morse index should be at least four, five, six, uh, and we are producing a critical point by using mountain pass, uh, Okay, uh, what we found is, uh, is uh, truly a genuine solution up to uh, classical regular results. So this is uh, somehow the, the, the idea. And uh, let's say, and uh, from theoretical point of view is uh, uh, quite interesting to try to uh, produce uh, more, more C index, more, uh, more theory, which takes into account not, not just uh, regular critical point, but also these uh, uh, kind of critical points which interact with the singular set. So there are uh, several, uh, uh, let's say, uh, several reasons why we are working in this direction. Um, in, the, in the Morse formula, we have the equality between the Morse index as, some, as something which is much more geometric with this mass of index for extender or whatever, winning number, you can think about the winning number. Uh, let's say at least uh, in the in the phase plane, actually uh, the Maslow index reduces to this stuff, and this Maslow index uh, plays a crucial role, for instance, uh, in the study of linear stability or spectral stability for Hamiltonian systems, as well in uh, uh, bifurcation theory. For instance, if we have a, a family of functional which is uh, uh, and, and we have a trivial branch, let's say critical point, which is uh, uh, a critical point for a whole family of functional and uh, uh, up some, uh, uh, let's say, uh, let's say if there is a jump of the Morse indices at the end of uh, this parameterized space, then uh, this is sufficient condition for uh, having a bifurcation point in the middle. So uh, let's say uh, th these are just the, the uh, motivation.
Now, uh, okay, this is standard. What we are considering here, just the mention are D, D, uh, mm -hmm. than two, uh, and and point uh, masses and one man positive uh, numbers. Uh, configuration vector is an element of R, D, and D, and we are considering the uh, classical gravitational potential because of uh, the uh, conservation law of total momentum. We fix the center of mass uh, in the origin. And uh, it's convenient uh, to uh, find, let's say, the equivalent scalar product in uh, R and D, uh, which is which is somehow weighted by the uh, masses. These are positive, so uh, this is uh, let's say it's, uh, uh, an inner product. And uh, uh, the collision set, uh, as uh, Vivina uh, said before, is uh, just an arrangement of uh, hyperplanes here, d-dimensional hyperplanes. And this is actually the component, which is a cone uh, in the configuration space. This space is uh, very well studied from a topological point of view. And even, let's say, it's well known also the, the uh, homological property, homotopic property of the loop space of uh, X hat. And uh, there, there are several, uh, let's say, uh, the bunch of literature goes back to Fadel Hussein and many others. Anyway, so. Here we have the, uh, the Lagrangian, here we have the kinetic part plus the potential, uh, potential function u, and uh, we fix time and consider the uh, Lagrangian action function with the fixed time t. Okay, now this uh, function is uh, C2 on the, on the space uh, uh, x hat, let's say uh, on the configuration space, on the collision free configuration space. Uh, which unfortunately is not that good for a calculus of variation. In fact, this space uh, uh, is not uh, weakly closed uh, in H1, so it is not that nice to work with this space. And in fact, it's not the right way. And uh, uh, usually uh, the problem is uh, to work on X and uh, of course to rule out uh, collision. So, um, the but from the abstract point of view, uh, the Euler-Lagrange equation here corresponds to Newton equation, and the critical point is up to bootstrap, because here we're working in H1, is uh, in the sober space, it's just uh, um, a classical solution. So, uh, the problem is this. Collision path would be finite. In fact, for instance, if we consider minus alpha homogeneous function potential, which alpha is greater or equal than two, the strong force case uh, from a variational point of view is uh, much easier to work with. And in fact, there is uh, uh, a lot of uh, literature that goes back to Ambrosetti, Kotizelati, let's say, and, uh, and many others. Uh, okay, but uh, in these cases, uh, in fact, uh, uh, very complicated. So uh, uh, this, this was, was uh, I told you before. Let's say we, we are looking. Uh, we want to let's say rule out homogeneous solution, generalized solutions, uh, in a, a bit uh, weaker sense than that uh, we've been taught before. But anyway, generalized solution in the sense of barrier abundance solution which interact with the the the, the, the collision sets. So. Here, we, uh, in this talk, uh, we consider uh, only the case in which uh, the, uh, we have a trajectory uh, for, uh, from zero to capital T, uh, and at times T, only at times T, there is the interaction with, uh, the, um, with the singular set, but not, not only with the singular set, uh, precisely with the origin. We fix the center of mass at the origin. So we are considering a solution which uh, collide, but there is a total collapse, let's say. Uh, just uh, uh, the, the, not just a cluster, all bodies collapse. Uh, even if uh, even if this theory could be uh, generalized uh, uh, to partial collisions, uh, but uh, in this paper we we consider only uh, uh, these classes uh, of solution: colliding, total collapse, and uh, or completely parabolic. Uh, okay, so. Uh, let me see. Um, first of all, polar change of coordinates with respect to uh, origin, to the let's say center of mass of the system. Uh, the the radial part when t goes to capital T, let's say the final point, uh, this uh, this converges to zero. 
about uh, the about the angular part uh, in general uh, is not clear uh, if uh, the limit exists so uh, in this, for the this result works only for uh, completely uh, for uh, let's say for this kind of asymptotic motion in which uh, there is a, a limit of uh, the angular part okay we are assuming here this is a, uh, a requirement we are considering uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, special kind of asymptotic motion I, I will come back on this point this is uh, uh, an important point but uh, we have to assume uh, uh, Okay, that the angular part converges. Usually, uh, we have only that the uh, angular part uh, converges uh, to the uh, to the set of the center configuration at uh, a fixed level. But uh, uh, we are not sure if uh, this uh, uh, limit in general exists and is related to a uh, classical problem in anybody in this kind of uh, in this stuff, which is called the infinite spin problem. Let's say, uh, but anyway, we are assuming this. So it's not here is the central configuration. As central configuration uh, is a, a solution of this algebraic equation, somehow we have that uh, the uh, gravitational acceleration at this zero is uh, proportional to the distance between the configuration uh, with the, um, with the, um, a proportionality constant, which is the level of the, the potential. It's not. And, uh, um, and and so we are considering this kind of asymptotic solution. So in a special case is uh, are the homothetic solution uh, could be elliptic, parabolic, hyperbolic, uh, depending on the energy energy level. Uh, now the question is uh, uh, for this kind of uh, for uh, for this kind of uh, colliding trajectories, the action function is finite. Uh, and uh, so we somehow we can uh, uh, consider this solution as a critical point uh, of uh, uh, the action factor. Uh, a critical point, uh, uh, let's say, uh, in a sense that we have uh, to to, uh, uh, to specify a, a bit. Uh, in fact, uh, even in this case, this is now, uh, I guess it should be related uh, to what Vivina uh, said before. Here, uh, we consider a kind of, uh, uh, we worked a bit on this, uh, on this Lagrangian by mixing a kind of uh, uh, make change of coordinates. So we rescale time and, uh, um, and also uh, we change the, the uh, the radial part so is not R is rho which is uh, uh, related to to R with some power if I remember where should be one over four in uh, uh, for this kind of uh, uh, for, for the gravitational case so uh, let's say working uh, changing time and the working of this uh, um, uh, on this stuff, we uh, the, the collision solution now is to plus uh, uh, is to plus infinity. So um, uh, we somehow regularize the function. Regularize the functional in a quite uh, uh, let's say um, weak sense. In fact, uh, if u is zero, this The conic manifold is just the product of uh, the uh, positive half line times the ellipse, uh, the inertia ellipsoid, so let's say the, 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 the limit sphere, the mass norm, and uh, uh, let's say with the classical uh, uh, conic method. So uh, let's say, yeah, we uh, regularize, okay, in this way. So now, uh, putting, uh, coming back, let's say, to the, the, the configuration. Uh, regularized configuration variable y, which is just the product of the radial part, the regularized radial part and the, the, uh, the, the, the angular part, we end up with the, this uh, Lagrangian. Uh, the Lagrangian uh, is uh, uh, a part, a kinetic part, which is uh, a form metric. Uh, here, for instance, this term is the derivative of the norm of y. Here is the norm of the derivative of y. Okay, so this is uh, uh, quite uh, uh, singular. 
and uh, a new potential W uh, tilde, which depends on the energy level. These, uh, these extra terms come from the fact that we fix the, uh, the time, so in this change of coordinates, we uh, produce a kind of uh, uh, integral constraint. This is uh, classical in, uh, in calculus of Newton. So we get a new, uh, a new uh, Lagrangian action functional whose critical points uh, are uh, in these uh, new variables uh, precisely uh, completely parabolic or collision solution for this problem. Here, critical points means uh, not just uh, this, this function actually is not C1. So uh, it means that uh, the Gateau derivative of J is uh, zero uh, against any kind of uh, uh, smooth uh, compact perturbation variation. So, um, which is uh, enough, which is the standard in Tisler geometry, for instance. So, uh, oh, okay, or oh, in general, non -critical, in critical non smooth theory. Um, the, the, the solution is uh, a critical point in this specific sense. In, in fact, for instance, in the parabolic case, is uh, even not a functional in the, in, in the original sobel space. But nevertheless, the variations are bounded and the vector derivative uh, is well defined uh, if we compute with respect to this compact perturbation uh, variation. So, uh, by linearizing, by computing what is called the index form, let's say, which is the second variation of the action factor, we end up with this kind of uh, classical Morse-Sturm, uh, Morse-Sturm, Louisville uh, form. Here, this is a standard for any, uh, if you compute the, the second derivative of any classical uh, Lagrangian action function, you end up with this general uh, stuff. Uh, here, P and R are uh, symmetric and positive, uh, are symmetric uh, uh, function. Uh, Q is anti-symmetric. And, uh, um, okay, and uh, uh, for this problem, P is a positive definite, which is very important. This is typical, this is uh, standard in uh, every, every time that uh, you work on uh, Riemannian manifold or with some Lagrangian which uh, satisfy Legendre, Alejandra convex condition, like uh, in this classical case. Of course, it's not uh, anymore true on Lorentzian geometry or uh, for or general Newtonian systems, but for this kind of Lagrangian system, yes. And uh, if we consider as a, a critical point, a special critical point, just a homothetic, we get that these P, Q, and R, uh, tilde, R, R tilde actually are constant matrices are constant matrices. So, in particular, uh, integrating by parsing into these uh, second, third terms, this disappear in the constant case, okay? Oh, uh, and this is very important because uh, the, uh, somehow the positive, uh, uh, the positivity of, uh, as a bilinear form of this D square JY depends upon the terms P and R tilde. What is the tilde? Okay, our team. All right. Okay. Anyway. Uh, okay. Here. Uh, okay. Here, this this piece positive definite, and uh, this is a very interesting. Uh, this is a, a crucial point. Uh, this uh, RT not uh, is positive definite if and only if the uh, the minimum eigenvalue that is a gap condition, a spectral gap condition, the minimum eigenvalue of the potential U restricted to an inertial ellipsoid. Uh, at the center configuration, which is uh, no, the limit of the radial part of this colliding solution, should be greater, strictly greater, minus one over eight U S naught. This uh, condition uh, appears in this, precisely this context, for the first time in the paper of Vivina and, uh, and Simone Secchi in 2007. And, uh, uh, but in several other contests, uh, also appear, and it is called, if I remember well, uh, no spiraling, no spiraling, no spiraling, anyway, no spiraling condition. Okay. So, but uh, under this assumption here, what do we get? We get that, uh, we assume that we are linearizing along the nomothetic. So the second and third terms, uh, let's say, uh, disappears. We have P and uh, R uh, tilde. Uh, this is positive definite uh, for, for free for, for the problem. And this is uh, under the gap condition. This is positive definite. So 
this form is actually an equivalent uh, product uh, in the product in uh, uh, in the subless case that we want to uh, all right so the, we define the collision Morse index as the Morse index of this square J. What is the Morse index? The Morse index is just the dimension. Uh, okay, uh, okay, is the dimension of uh, uh, of the negative spectral space uh, of this uh, bilinear form, or if you want, of the uh, operator which represents this bilinear form with respect to the scalar product. So, Banutel and Zeki proved in 2007 that uh, the Morse index is uh, infinite uh, if uh, the uh, if uh, the first uh, the minimum eigenvalue of the Asian is uh, strictly less than this number. Morse index is infinite. What about uh, the complement, read or readable? Okay, equal to minus one over eight. Uh, it's uh, we cannot say anything because uh, there are examples in which the Morse index is finite and the other uh, example which is uh, infinite. So, uh, but what we uh, proved, uh, let's say one, uh, the first result that we proved in this paper is that if the uh, under this uh, BS condition or uh, not spiraling condition uh, about uh, uh, the center configuration then the Morse index is finite. So in this problem, actually, we are, we are uh, relating the, the, uh, the, the relational property, the dynamics of the solution as a critical point in this, uh, let's say, in the phase space with the, the um, somehow with the, the gradient flow dynamics of, uh, on the initial ellipsoid. Uh, is, uh, let's say, behind this theorem, and this is one of the important points of this paper, uh, is not uh, just uh, the fact that the Morse index is finite, but that we are in, uh, um, in the um, standard situation of index theory. Standard situation of index theory means uh, we are working with the unbounded self-adjoint freedom operator, which is uh, the, the standard functional analytic framework of IKEA. For uh, the key, uh, key apoptosis, let's say, which is uh, really, really important. Okay, this is just uh, okay uh, a code sequence, uh, a corollary of uh, of this fact. But uh, we know that we are working with something which is uh, essentially positive freedom for the forms. Let's say re realized by something which is uh, an operator which is a compact perturbation, metric compact perturbation of identity or a general positive isomorphism. So. Uh, the essential spectrum is uh, uh, is out of the real line, and uh, 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 and uh, we are in a good situation. Um, okay, uh, in the seventies, uh, Tia Pato di Singer gave a characterization of uh, gave a characterization of um, of the uh, uh, index by using. Uh, uh, the fact that the freedom operator can be uh, split into several uh, uh, connected components, uh, these two are trivial from a, a topological point of view, are con uh, con contractible spaces. Uh, and uh, then there is another which is uh, non trivial, which is uh, strongly indefinite, uh, in, uh, in which we uh, define it's possible to define the, uh, a new invariant, uh, which is somehow. Uh, a new invariant which is somehow counts the net number of eigenvalues uh, which cross the zero line when the parameter runs from zero to one, for instance, like in this case. You can think about uh, matrices. Uh, in, uh, let's say, in the case of matrices, symmetric matrices or diagonal, just uh, you look the the eigenvalues and uh, uh, you count the net number of eigenvalues which cross the zero line. So. These numbers uh, somehow uh, measure the difference of most indices uh, at the end points. And this is crucial for uh, our index theory. And uh, actually, uh, in this sense, index theory exists uh, not just in this context, uh, in any context, only uh, under this uh, uh, analytic framework. I will skip this, this stuff. Uh, so, um, from this uh, uh, functional analytic fact, what we proved is that uh, this collision index that we define below actually is the spectral flow of uh, uh, a family of uh, differential operator. These differential operators is a standard, comes by integrating by parts in the, in the previous form. And here we have B sigma. Sigma is an extra parameter uh, 
so we embed our uh, system into uh, completely uh, random, a completely arbitrary uh, uh, one parameter path of, uh, uh, of uh, differential operator. And uh, by topological uh, fact on freedom operator, we know that this is, uh, uh, let's say, this, uh, um, this has no effect on the definition of the spectral flow. It's independent of which kind of perturbation we are considering. So we consider uh, we consider uh, a, a useful kind of, uh, and we prove that the Morse index is actually in the spectral flow of uh, uh, these uh, operators, which realize uh, the. the which realized uh, the the, the form. Now, uh, by using, uh, let's say, uh, by changing, uh, this is a second order, uh, a second order uh, differential equations, and uh, uh, by uh, putting into the, uh, considering the associated Hamiltonian form, uh, we are uh, we are looking uh, actually the. Um, uh, what we are now we are considering is uh, um, an Hamiltonian system which is parameterized by Toto is a zero plus infinity, and uh, with the, the starting point is uh, L zero. L zero L not is just a Lagrangian subspace, Lagrangian subspace in uh, uh, classical R two and D. Let's say in uh, uh, in the standard free space. Let's say R two and D with uh, the standard symplectic form. Uh, this uh, L naught here corresponds somehow to the division boundary condition, corresponds to the horizontal uh, Lagrangian subspace. And uh, um, so the Hamiltonian flow, if we consider the phase flow of this Hamiltonian system, is induced a flow at the Lagrangian Grassmannian level. So uh, if we consider the, the, the evolution of the Lagrangian system standard, it was, uh, let's say, uh, very well explained by Arnold. If, if we consider the evolution of the phase flow the, uh, of any of any Lagrangian, this produces a path of Lagrangian subspace. So we are in the Lagrangian Grassmannian manifold, and uh, uh, it's possible to define a kind of uh, uh, index which is an intersection between a path. The path is just the evolution under the phase flow. Of the Lagrangian uh, of any Lagrangian subspace. In this case, the Lagrangian subspace corresponding to uh, the Dirichlet boundary conditions and uh, another kind of uh, subspace. This subspace is two sided embedded, so uh, is a, is a co oriented manifold, sub manifold into the Lagrangian Grassmannian, actually, is uh, in the cycle in the homological sense. And, uh, uh, this manifold is stratified, but somehow we are able to distinguish the positive and negative. So we can attach a number in integer. We know if we are crossing from below to above and, or vice versa. And so we can produce an integer. This uh, intersection index uh, is uh, what we call the geometrical index, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, somehow uh, the generalization of the winning number. In the symplectic context, precisely this index is called the uh, Collett-Sender index. So uh, the uh, the last uh, result of this paper is uh, that not only we are in the Fredholm uh, uh, framework, not only the Morse index is finite. This Morse index is precisely the geometrical index defined in terms of uh, uh, the the evolution of the, the Lagrangian solution. Uh, 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 ok, ok. Scusami, che sono un tipo abbastanza ansioso. Ok. Uh, anyway, uh, the, idea, uh, the idea of the proof uh, is, uh, ok, uh, emb we embed our problem into the one parameter family of, uh, um, of operator. Uh, we prove that the most index, uh, this is uh, actually, this is uh, for free. The first one is for free. The, the, the more thinness is equal to the spectral flow. This comes from abstract uh, results, let's say. Uh, let's say not, not so much work. Uh, here there is a lot of work. Uh, the second, let's say, the spectral flow is equal to this uh, kind of Maslow index. The Maslow index uh, here is produced, uh, let's say, is the intersection index between uh, the yellow, uh, this yellow stuff, this uh, yellow. Uh, not manifold, variety, stratified variety in the algebraic case. 
it is not a manifold. And uh, uh, this uh, part, which is parameterized by sigma, this is part of Lagrangian subspace. I don't want to enter in detail precisely on this. This is uh, the stable bundle, let's say, is uh, uh, anyway, this is a part of Lagrangian subspace constructed uh, by, uh, by, by um, the differential operator. Then uh, th there are kind of uh, uh, perturbation arguments. Uh, why? Simply because this red, uh, this red part may be cross uh, the yellow uh, upper surface, but not transversally. Transversally, uh, not C shield transversally, at least it's one, let's say. Uh, Maybe just is the tangent, or uh, or maybe touch and go back. Let's say stay below, or so. Uh, it's important uh, to uh, to cross uh, in a proper way, and to uh, in general, of course, uh, uh, let's say uh, the nature is perverse, and so uh, the, the the life is hard, and uh, maybe it, it does not cross. Uh, in the proper sense. So we have to perturb and uh, then by using some kind of, uh, of formula, lo localization formula are, uh, are called, let's say, by restricting, uh, let's say, by some localization, by looking, uh, uh, okay, in a very close to the uh, crossing point, it's possible to compute this index. So uh, the equality uh, of the, this equality between the spectra for the Maslow index is uh, through some kind of uh, localization argument. This is uh, a quite technical stuff. Uh, and uh, okay, but it's nice because this construction holds for every kind of homoclinic, heteroclinic, uh, half clinic, uh, and uh, whatever clinic uh, trajectories. So uh, it's nice. Uh, so uh, the, uh, the main steps uh, is, uh, I would like just uh, to uh, recap uh, quickly. Uh, we define first the analytic index, analytical index uh, in terms of uh, the spectral flow. Then we define the geometrical index in terms of uh, this kind of uh, intersection invariant, this Maslow index. We prove uh, somehow that, that these two are equal by using homotopy and localization. This is, uh, uh, the homotopy is, uh, quite the most standard stuff, uh, and localization is not that hard. Um, these indices are rising by blowing up the deviation of the angular and the radial part of the solution. Let's say this comes uh, after we regularized, uh, almost regularized, uh, uh, the, the Lagrangian action function by scaling time and using the kind of maybe change of coordinates. Just uh, I, and I will stop, uh, for instance, uh, for uh, homotetic motion, uh, the Morse index uh, is uh, zero if the energy level is greater or equal than zero, and uh, is just uh, the Morse index uh, of uh, this matrix here, a minus one, this square u, present to uh, an inertial ellipsoid at the central configuration if h is uh, less than zero. Now, uh, okay, as I told you, this works uh, for uh, any alpha between zero and two here. Alpha equal one corresponding to the gravitational case, and uh, for completely parabolic, and uh, uh, and uh, but this uh, this condition is really 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 crucial. Uh, now, new perspectives are uh, to try to understand uh, for a more general class of solution. For instance, if we have some partial collisions, uh, so somehow uh, if we localize in a colliding cluster, actually. I'm looking at collision solution, total collapse perturbed by something which is a regular, uh, no, uh, the regular, uh, let's say, uh, contribution given by non colliding uh, bodies, uh, or look a more general class of, uh, of, uh, of uh, solutions, as uh, in the Chassis classification, at least for the three body problem. Uh, or, uh, let's say, I would like just to, uh, and I, I will stop, I, I would like just to mention that the BS condition, the not spiraling condition, somehow means that uh, if we consider an heteroclinic, the rest point is uh, not hyperbolic. So uh, that gap condition corresponds to, um, if we have an heteroclinic between two uh, rest points, the rest points are not hyperbolic. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, we, Leave uh, from uh, the standard uh, uh, framework of ARM, this is the Lagrangian Grassmann framework. We end up with something which is isotropic, but not Lagrangian anymore. So, this is a, um, 
is a theoretically important, uh, independent from the problem, is uh, in Hamiltonian system is uh, really an important and a crucial point uh, in order to carry over this kind of uh, index theories in more general situations. So, uh, okay, here there are some uh, references uh, specific on this topic, uh, and uh, thank you very much for your attention.